It is like sitting on a thoroughbred racing horse and, and having full latitude to just run it the way that it likes to run. When I first came to Bonneville, when Confederate invited me out here, it was like, mm, no, that's above my, my um, capabilities, which it still is if you look at it compared to all the legends that ride out here. I'm a nobody. But nonetheless, the experience that I get out here is amazing. I've never horse raced, but it reminds me of that line of horses in the, in the stall just, just waiting for that, the gate to open and, and, and for those thoroughbreds to run down the, the track. And, and that's what it's like, except it's just the machine and me and the flagman. And that open space with no concerns, no worries, and the mountains in the backdrop, it's very emotional. But when you get that green flag, when that green flag waves and it drops, and you know right at that moment it's about you and that motorcycle, and you start accelerating, it's amazing. And, and then as I slowly accelerate, it is, it's kind of like dropping the reins on a racehorse, and it's like, you're free to run, and she does. And <laughs> uh, you don't have to flog this machine. They want to do that. You can feel they want to do that. And so to accelerate like that, down a clean slate of salt, with no distractions, and that backdrop, and then you catch this wall of wind at the same time, it's this huge conflict and amalgamation of all of these different feelings and, and, and thoughts and clarity and purity and, and yet intimidation. It's almost spiritual.